red car pedophile Michael Dunn jailed for 27 years. A violent pedophile who made a hidey hole in his home to conceal a girl he was abusing has been jailed for 27 years. Michael Dunn knocked through the wall behind his fridge at his house in Mottram, Greater Manchester to create a cavity to hide the runaway from police. Teesside Crown Court heard the 57-year-old, from Red Car, raped and abused four girls over a period of decades. His offences took place around the country. Greater Manchester Police has referred itself to the Independent Police Complaints Commission, IPCC, amid concerns opportunities to catch him were missed. Paranoid and Controlling Dunn was convicted in January of 10 rapes, false imprisonment and indecent assault. One of his victims was aged just 10 or 11 when he first raped her. Judge Tony Briggs said, The history reveals you to be a devious manipulative and controlling man with a strong urge to dominate. The court had heard he was paranoid, controlling and short-tempered. Prosecutors said his victims suffered physically if they challenged him and he had sex when he wanted. The court heard while living in Mottram, Dunn would use a bag of dust and a panel to cover the hole where one girl was kept, concealing her from police on eight or nine occasions and kept his two German Shepherd dogs nearby to put off police from looking too hard for her. He knew she had already been the victim of sexual abuse, having been raped and beaten by another man. Dunn, who also lived in Newcastle and Cambridgeshire, imprisoned a second female victim, subjecting her to repeated violence, and filled his house with cameras, locks and alarms, the court was told cancer tests. He also groomed and sexually assaulted another vulnerable underage girl in the 1990s, giving her alcohol and cigarettes. She told her mother what happened but when police investigated, Dunn got witnesses to lie and the victim was told her complaint was not going any further. He also also raped another pre-teenage girl. Alongside the rapes, Dunn was convicted of three charges of false imprisonment and three charges of indecent assault. He was cleared of one charge of rape, one of making a threat to kill and one of causing grievous bodily harm. Rod Hunt, defending, said Dunn was undergoing tests for cancer and partly blamed his client's violence and sexual offending on his alcoholism. Det Sergeant Dave Petrick, of Cleveland Police, said, Essentially, Dunn groomed several women and young girls, in some cases making them completely dependent on him, and carrying out sexual offenses against all of them. Some of the victims were kept in line through Dunn's extreme violence or even through the fear of violence and he had complete and absolute control over their lives. Children's charity the NSPCC said authorities should now examine how Dunn was able to carry out this horrific campaign of abuse for so long. A spokesman said, Dunn used fear and intimidation to control his victims and forced them to keep silent for years. The repeated sexual abuse they suffered at his hands is truly sickening. Dunn is a danger to the public, to the public.